Hello everyone, my name is Nintendo and welcome to this, my second video for Marvel Duel. This is a new uh, video that I want to do on this card game. So, I've been playing this game pretty much uh, vigorously for the past three weeks now. Um, I'm, I'm really getting into the game. I haven't hit the highest tier yet. I'm two tiers away from it, like I'm just working on it right now. Um, the game has already sort of established its own meta, what's currently being used and all that, but I want to talk about um, the new uh, class that were introduced in an update, which was Hydra. And I did a video recently in just showcasing Hydra. Now I'm going to show you um, a new video where I uh, got told how to build a different variation of the Hydra deck. And this Hydra deck, oh, it's, it's so fun. It's so nice. Um, and, it, and I basically took out three Marvel Knights uh, in a row. One of them was a dupe one, one of them had to be rebeaten again. But like, you know, because Marvel Knights is currently the most op and slightly brokenish deck. One card makes it broken. Um, in Marvel Duel right now. But taking out three of them in a row was kind of really, like, uh, satisfying. So, wanted to go over the deck and just show you guys what you're kind of seeing. Supreme um, Hydra! This is what I call it. As a reference to Supreme Captain America in the comics. But because I just found this variation to be really strong. So for this version of um, Hydra, you're playing one Outrider for the searchers, which we do it. A one Hydra Elite Soldier, it's just for early game and then you ditch him. Two Baron Struckers, another version of the deck I ran four, but the way this one works, you only need to really run two. Hydra Bombardment is like key to the deck. You need to have at least four. I will give weight, I'll give the weight to three, but four is so recommended. Uh, Baron Zemo, you can run two, you can run four, um, I think some people will just say that it's just best at two, but, you know, he's still fine as it is. Um, key to the deck, Armin Zola, you gotta run him at four. Probably can get away with two, uh, but I would run it at four. Uh, we run Ant-Man, there's there for, like, um, tech reasons to get rid of weapons, Rallying Cry, you know, it's there. Mad Driven Bomb, I was able to sort of get a good game to test out that, you know, because Punisher is so broken, it does go before Punisher if you have this on a Hydra unit, and it does change one of their opponent's uh, units into a Hydra Elite, but that's it. This is the only thing I know that goes before Punisher, if it's cooked on a Hydra, and then that's it. Uh, Punisher still does his thing. Um, their units do not get to move first, so unfortunately. And then uh, one Thanos, because, you know, Thanos for the Thanos. Which snap is really fun to do to basically wipe out half the units and Thanos is not going to be on the list. But that's the, that's the Hydra settings. Um, so the way this deck functions is that it's basically the Hella combo, combo, which is having your Ragnaroks, having your Grandmaster, having your Metalith, and having Hella or Juggernaut, and duplicate them. But now we're doing that for Zola instead, which is kind of funny. So we want to basically only ever go to shop four. And you're only ever sitting in shop 4. I mean, you could go to shop 5 if you really wanted to. Or 6, but you don't really need to. You just need to sit in 4. Um, you need to run your Ragnarok characters so that they die. Specifically, when it comes to the final setting, you need to have the Frost Giant and the Frost Beast. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. You have your Destroyer, and we have Grandmaster to basically do the copies of Zola. Um, and everything else is just a one-off. That's not really important. Dark Industries is supporting, it's anything here is just a one-off, the only thing is if you go to 6, then yeah, you're, you're probably going to grab the Iron Man. Like, if you can push, once you get your setup, maybe push to 6, and then go for the Iron Man. So at least you got an Iron Man to sort of deal with um, some units and dealing some extra damage over all the Hydra Bombardments. Whoops. Um, and lastly, we have 4. And the only thing we care about out of Thor is, okay, you have God of Asgard for early games, for defensive reasons, is the uh, Asgardian shield. This is the important key. You want to throw this on the Ragnarok characters, and if you can, Zemo. Because you want um, Zemo to be a target for them to pick. Uh, because Zemo, as he works, is <clears throat> when Zemo dies, he changes your opponent's monsters, units of three or lower, into Hydra Elites. So, you know, you got to make sure Zemo dies. So I run three. I'm told you can just run this at two. I run three just for that safety net because I want to guarantee Zemo dies. 
And we only go up the shop four, so I have that, that. I think you don't really need Hogan. I threw him in here, but I'm probably gonna change him out. Um, but that's about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The idea is just to get a board of uh, Zemo, uh, um, a Ragnarok Zemo, another Ragnarok, so the two Guardians. Strucker's there, um, but uh, he's kind of flexible. You don't really need Strucker, he's just a flexible unit now. Grandmaster Zola. And then you just want to make them multiple copies of Zola. Um, I'm going to showcase the game, and I guess, and I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun with this. I'm looking forward to some more interesting games I get to do. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, check out the video. Let me know with your comments and likes and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Really can't afford to take that risk. No, you need Zemo in the front. Want that idiot to die. I have four copies of Zola and I didn't see one fucking copy of Zola. I am pissed beyond a whole bunch of shit now. Couldn't even get one fucking copy of Zola. Fuck it. I'll most likely just play it. Nah, the thing is he had equipment on him. So it was fine. There was there was an equipment on him, but the equipment was removed. That's the thing. I had it on. It was all set up. The problem was they lost the equipment. I don't know how. I know for a fact that guard was on him. All right, cool. So what am I grabbing here? I'm grabbing pretty much everybody here. Uh, three, six, nine. Yeah. Three. Get a Hydra. Uh. Oh. Stop you. Oh, we don't need you. Six. Uh. Not attack him. Alright, cool. Thank you, Juggernaut. Thank you. Want a copy? It's an illusion. These two. Trucker and a bombardment, sick.
Alright. Um... Alright, that's a good find. That is a really good find. Unfortunate hit that one. And that's a knockout, okay. Alright, so... Alright, so, what am I ditching? I am ditching this. I'm gonna put you in the front. I'm gonna give this to this dude, uh, just so that I can tank out and do some damage. Probably don't need the Hydra Elites anymore, so that can go there. That can go on you. But now it should be fine. Um, okay, let's see what else I can pop. Uh, cool, I will take that. Good, that's a really nice find. Now I need this fucking Grand Master to complete the package. Don't buy unnecessary stuff. I mean, I'll buy if it helps sort of refresh the fucking shop. Because the issue I have half the time is that I do not have access to units. Nice, took care of Electra. Problem is, that Luke Cage is stupidly tanky. That is a really big problem I hate about Luke Cage, is how dumb and powerful he is. That's the one thing I hate about Luke Cage, he's just retarded at how much power he can get. Like, it really doesn't fucking make sense. That he that can get so stupidly powerful, and as a two-cost unit, it's dumb. He needs a change, same as Electra. Uh, don't buy unnessary shit. Keep looking for Grandmaster. I will buy a second of that and I will grab that, so now Nemo is the focus of attention. So they will focus him now. Now we're on the hunt for a Grandmaster. Ah, uh, another Armanzola. Tick. All right. Um. All right. It took me four games to finally try to get this fucking set up. Nope. Didn't even get the bright units. That's a problem. Didn't even target the right unit. It's probably why I always want to or as well. It's just so that, um, yeah, he'll roll. All right, ten damage. Let's see what they can do. Ah. 
Electra is too fucking big. Actually, this might help. Why did... Oh, yeah, he still attack twice. Alright, cool. Alright, now we need to find copies of everyone. Cool. I need bombardments. I need... He's already a target. Actually, I might grab that for the other unit which I need to play. Grab a little of that. I destroyed a Marvel Knights deck, I know, right? When the ship... When you get what you fucking want, the shit fucking works. But, I am missing the other freaking um, Ragnar characters. But Marvel Knights is stupid. This is the reason I hate this deck. I hate Ra R Marvel Knights for this fucking dumb reason. It's just the stupidity of Electra. If he can take out Electra, no, he doesn't. That's why I think getting him to four helps. But let's see how the Zemos go. I've got three times the ten damage to try and spread across the battlefield. Let's we'll see what happens. Fifty... Forty-three? Down to thirty-one. Down to sixteen. Oh my god. So it was a hundred attacks, and she came down to zero. Oh my god, that is a relief. Alright. Um... Fuck, I'm running out of time. Alright, grab this dude. You go away. I need to put you here. I need to give you a reason to be attacked. Mm, there's the fourth Zemo. This is totally worth it. That's two Marvel Knights down. Can I make it a trifecta? I fucking doubt it. It depends how many surges this guy the taxi's doing. Okay, that's all of them dead. So you get to copy one, two. Electra's gone. That sucks. Um, I lost one, but it should be okay. No, actually it won't because I don't have any more Ragnaroks, and he didn't copy for some dumb reason. I don't know why he didn't copy twice or three times. Holy crap, I took down three Marvel Knights in a row. Oh my god. Getting this set up is so worth it. Three Marvel Knights down. Alright, I want... The other Zemos. Actually, yes, I need fucking bombardments.
Yeah, if he drops Moon Knight, it's over. Nah, he drops two Punishers. That's 14 damage. I lose. Broken card. <clears throat> Broken card. Hang on a second. Oh my god, the upset is fucking real. Fuck you, Marvel Knights! That's three Marvel Knights. One was taken down twice. And he had two Punishers. Holy shit.